Welcome to Fundamentals of Investments, INZ 2601. My name is Dr. Jody Nyamunda, and I am excited. Today we are starting on bonds. Bonds is one of the most important chapters in this module. M most important, not in the sense that it will give you more marks, but most important in the sense that is the longest section of the module. So you are definitely going to get a question. But also it's, in, it's an interesting chapter because it introduces some very difficult concepts. Some very difficult concepts which you will need to grasp if you really want a distinction. But if you want to just fly by, then probably, probably you don't need to, to do that much. Okay, let's, let's see. Okay, so this is what we're going to, our plan of action. We are planning to cover a lot of ground. Planning to cover a lot of ground. So the earlier we jump into it, the better. But I think I have a poll question. Let me look for my poll question before we, because we need to start on a good note. So we are going to start easy and it's going to be progressively, progressively difficult. Which is good because we are going to start very easy. We are going to start easy. If you if you were in my last lecture, last the other week, we are going to start where we left. So, so it will be familiar territory. Then it's progressively, slowly, slowly, we are going to make it a little bit, okay, a little bit difficult. Okay, let's let's launch. Let me see. Let me launch the poll. Launch this poll. There's a poll coming your way. You know the usual story. Poll coming your way. It will pop up in front of you or it will be in the chat so if you click if you go to the chat you get it. if you go there then you okay while while we are doing that while least we are doing that okay they say while it's 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 old english i'm saying supposed to say while we are doing that so i don't know why i would say the while list while we are doing that okay let's Okay, now I'll speed with my backup when you're doing a calculation question. Okay, let's see which of the following describes a bond. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see. A type of glue. Mm, sounds like it. Okay, submit. Let's see. How many people have submitted yet? Five responses. Probably that's like everyone. And <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> some of you think it's an investment which pays dividends, not a bond. A boy pays interest. So the correct answer is a bond. Okay, let's where is my pointer? Where is my pointer? Pointer. Pointer is saying you are too old. Okay. Pointer is okay. So which describes it's a loan. So it's a form of a loan. Okay, that's fine. I'll forgive you. I'll give you a next chance. Next question. Next question. Which is the main difference between a bond and a stock? Okay. Make your choice, make your choice, make your choice. Make your choice. That is a very good place to start. How many people do we have? Okay, let me make... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There we go. Submit. Three people so far. And we have how many people? Four, five, six people. Some familiar names. How many people have responded? Okay, let's go to the chat. Let's see how many people have responded. Five people, so which means probably we have everyone. And stocks pay fixed interest. Okay. We have said stocks pay fixed interest should know that it's not stock pay a stocks or shares. I was supposed to change to shares. Shares pay a dividend, not fixed interest. That makes it wrong. So, but most of you got it right. Four out of okay. So we are good to get started, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, we, we this slide, we saw this slide before, but it's always a good place to start. Good place to start is where we were so that we can build on what we already know. So we said these are the cash flows. So when you are investing in a bond, 
you are paying money upfront, that's the investment, in exchange of getting an interest or a coupon over a period of time. At maturity, which is the end of the period, you are going to get your last coupon and the maturity value. Okay. So if it's a 1,000 rand bond, you invest here, get your interest over the period of time, and at maturity, you get the face value, which is 1,000. Okay, let's see. So we are saying, when we are valuing a bond, we covered this last week, but let's, let's walk over the same ground so that when we introduce more difficult concepts, we know where we are. Okay. So we say, when we are valuing a bond, we are trying to find the market value. Remember, this is the timeline which you just saw a second ago. So we are saying, when we are valuing a bond, we are trying to find the market value of a bond or a present value of a bond. So what do we do to find the present value? We are going to discount, discount all these amounts, all these coupons and the maturity value using what we call yield to maturity or I. So on the financial calculator, you will be saying, so the constant coupon of the interest is the PMT. Coupon. So you, you, you say coupon your PMT, you put your 100 PMT if it's 10%, then N is the period. N, ladies and gentlemen, is not years, it's the period. So if it pays twice a year, so it means your period for one year is two. Okay? Too much theory. Let's go here. I think this is a better example. So we are saying calculate the value of a semi-annual bond. Semi-annual means it pays coupons half yearly. Semi-annual bond whose annual coupon is 8% matures in two years at a face value of 1,000. And the yield to maturity is 10%. So we are told that it's 8%, it's semi-annual 8% matures in two years. So we know that we are going to get four payments or four coupons of 40 rand. Why 40 rand? Why 40 rand? Why 40 rand? Because it's 8% divided by 2, it's paying half yearly. So it's 40, 40, 40, 40. So at maturity, you are going to get 1,000. So what are you discounting? With what factor are you using to discount? It's not 8 yeah, years. There's a mistake. There is a mistake. Okay, okay. Can I live with a mistake? Can I live with that mistake? I think I can't. I need to fix it in case so we discount there using 10 which is our yield to maturity there so what do we get so we say if we put in our financial calculator and say fv is a thousand you see there pmt 40 40 40 n is four because you see these four payments because it's semi-annual in your mind if you have to look is it an annual annual bond or semi-annual if it's an annual bond it means it pays once if it's a semi-annual it pays twice then we say you to maturity, that's the number you're going to put in I, so it's eight. Why eight? No, it's supposed to be four. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, maybe eight. Why is the what? No, our you to maturity is 10, actually. I don't know what I was doing then. Okay. You to maturity, let's fix that and put a 10 here. Our you to maturity is 10. Then we, we say, okay, 10 and then present value there. Okay, so your question. Your question is this one. Please. Please, 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 if you have a question, ask. Question, ask. If you don't have a question, do this one. A 14% semi annual bond, 14% semi annual has a power value of 100 rand with a maturity of five years and you to maturity of 4 percent Calculate the value of the bond and put in the chat. Why is you doing that? Why are you doing that? Let me see if I can. Put up my backup laptop. Once you get your answer, don't be shy. Put it in the chat. Okay, let's see. Put in the chat, put in the chat, put in the chat. I gave you an example at the top so that you can easily follow that.
Or if you have a question, also put in the chat. I'm expecting to see and to, to to see answers there. I'm expecting answers quickly. Okay, let's see who is my leader there. Who is my leader? Shalin, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. That's good. And you can post in the chat. I'm still working it out. Oh, yeah, still okay. <laughs> okay. Because my worry was now I can uh, people can't hear me. <laughs> okay. Now we hear you. Okay. So PMT, no PMT is not always forty. It depends on here. It was forty because Gladys here it was forty because it's a two year semi annual eight percent. It was a okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was an eight percent with a face value of one thousand. So it was eight percent of one thousand eighty. But eighty is paid twice a year, which means every time they pay, they are paying forty rand. Happy Gladys. Okay, you can't ignore me, Gladys. You if you are okay. Cool, cool, cool. That's good. That's good. Let me join with my other device there. Add this device. Okay. If you have a question, ladies and gents, post in the chat. Can you explain the 40 again, please? Oh, the 40 again, okay. Yes, please. So, 40, let's let, let's go. Okay, so calculate the value of a semi annual whose annual coupon is 8% matures in two years at the first value of 1,000. So, the coupon or the amount it's paying per year is 8% of 1,000, which is 80. Okay. But we are told that the semi annual, so it's paying half yearly. So it pays 80 for the year, but half yearly it pays 40. Are you happy with that? Yes, thank you. Okay. Anyone else with a question, ladies and gentlemen? This is a fundamental thing which you need to understand. If you don't understand this, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be stuck for a very long time because it's it's a, the, the basics of most of the calculations which are done in bonds. So don't be shy to ask a question if you are confused or if you don't understand or something is unclear. If you don't want to unmute yourself, you can just put it in the chat. So I'm expecting answers to be flying in, but it uh, looks like I'm not going, I'm not seeing any answer here. A 14% semi-annual bond. Okay, let's see if Tim Biza finally managed to find the link. No, didn't find the link. Let me look for the link so that I can send to someone. Yeah, da, 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 da. 
where is the link? Where is the link? Mm -hmm. Draft. Okay, inbox. Eleven minutes ago. He sent. Okay, let me mute my please, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yeah, at least the way I have an answer, someone, someone is answered. Let me I'll mute myself and then I'll phone someone. Okay, let's do, maybe people are stuck. Where are you stuck, uh, ladies and gents? Where are you stuck? Okay, for me, oh, I, I was still starting with the with the topic, right? So I'm still struggling with the calculations and then the PMT, I know you are you explained it, but it's a little bit confusing for me for now. So that's that's where I'm I'm still stuck. Hey, Bo. Sorry, I was I was just talking to myself. I was talking to myself and I was on mute and talking to myself, which is terrible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, pause whatever you're doing so that we can do this thing together. So it's a 14% semi-annual is a power value of 100. Okay, 14% semi-annual is a power value of 100. So the PMT is 14% of 100, which is 14, okay? But it's a semi-annual bond. So every instead of just paying 14, it's paying seven rand every period. Okay. So your PMT here is seven. With a maturity of five years, which means your, your maturity is five years, but your end it because it's paying semi-annual, it is going to pay 10 times. Remember, so it's going to make 10. Remember, we are being paid say, half yearly. So N is goes to 10 because it pays 10 payments. 10 years, so it's five years, but it's going to make 10 payments. So N is goes to 10. Our I is goes to 6 because 12 divided by 2, 6. Our FV, okay, it's supposed to be 100, not 1,000 there. Our FV is 100. So if you punch all that in, in the calculator, if you punch all that in the calculator, it should give you 107.36. Okay. 
Okay. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? Let's show some thumbs up so that you at least we, we I, I can be. Are we together, ladies and gentlemen? Some thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever so that I know that we are together or we are completely lost. Okay, there's a hand up because I there we yes, Bongeka. Morning, morning, sir. I just wanted to ask, sir, how did we get the the I for for six? We said twelve divided by two because remember it's a semi annual bond. Oh, okay. So we divided by two. If it was annually, it was going to be twelve percent. Yeah, it was going to remain twelve. All right. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Gladys. Can you hear me? Yeah, hundred percent. All right. So for the fourteen percent, do we also apply the same concept for dividing by two? Uh, if it's semi-annual, yes, it's seven. Yes, fourteen percent of hundred is the oh, one. Is fourteen divided by two seven? Okay, so fourteen. It's an important concept. Okay. Okay. So fourteen percent of hundred. Yes, fourteen percent of hundred. Fourteen divided by two seven because oh, of, because okay. it's semi-annual. Okay. Okay. So okay. if it's quarterly, it's fourteen percent of hundred divided by four. Yeah, yes. Understood. Now you go. I think you are there. Understood. Okay. 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 Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, there's more more opportunities to practice. Here it is. Okay. A fourteen percent. Okay, the same. Okay, the same question, but now you have more, 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 more opportunity. So, fourteen percent the same annual bond is a power value of hundred with a maturity of five years, and a yield to maturity of twelve percent. Calculate the value of the bond. So we got that. This is what we got, but yours is here. A ten percent annual bond selling at a par value of hundred matures in twelve years. Calculate the value of the bond at each of these intervals. So what I'm expecting you, ladies and gentlemen, at least. So you are going to calculate if you to maturity was eight percent. If you so you eight percent. So you say a. You put your answer b. At ten percent, what is the value of the bond? At C, at twelve percent. So I'm expecting you to at least do two of these ones because there's a concept I want to 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 to, to discuss with you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this quickly. And this is not a semi-annual, ladies and so it should be quick. It's an annual bond. I saw Tembisa was struggling to join, and I'm happy she's here. Yes, ladies. You ladies, you are on mute. You are on mute. Okay. Can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Okay, sorry about that. I see our FV here is 1,000 rand, and then how did we get to 1,000 when we have a par value of 100 rand with a maturity of years? Oh, oh, yeah, no, okay. That's a, remember that mistake, which is we are persisting with a mistake. Oh, we are persisting with the mistake. With the mistake because it was so, a copy paste from the previous question. Okay, so our, our FV is hundred. So this one should be hundred. The next one, okay. this one should be hundred. All right. I thought maybe there's some calculation. No, 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 no. That, that we are persisting. Okay. With the All right. <laughs> copy paste. That's the problem. The copy paste. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. I see, Mr. Matsuma. How are you? Good, thanks. And how are you? Um, I'm good. Dr. Tanya Munda. And good uh, morning to all students. Okay, Mr. Matsuma is, uh, is is the lecturer, ladies and gentlemen. So it, I'm happy he's here with us, so that uh, if we get start, we can we start, we can get someone to unstick us. Yes, sir. and I'm uh, I'm around. I'm in uh, Devon campus right now. Uh, if there's any student near Devon who like like um. Uh, one assistant, I'm here to, to help you guys. So you can uh, just visit uh, uh, the Ben campus, you'll find us here. Thank you. What room are you in, Mr. Batoma? Uh, it's 3B1. 3B1, ah, okay.
e glad is the is it a new end or is it an old end old hand sorry let me lower it sorry <laughs> okay cool so if you are here in in, in Devon, ladies and gentlemen, you can uh, come and see Mr. Matsoma uh, at the campus. I, I, is, it, is it for this? I think it was, it's called this Masai, Masabala Yengwa campus. So there. Then you can see him face to face. Maybe you can also see me because I'm also here in Devon if you come at the right time. But if you are not, if you are not in Devon, sorry for you. <laughs> if they are not in Devon, they can just make an appointment to visit me in Pretoria. I'm always in Pretoria, main campus. See, see, you can actually have a private consult, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, one on one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How did I think better than that? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Okay, Tembisa, I can see Tembisa joined and she's fixing a mistake. So, Tembisa, then do calculation for B. Letabo, do calculation for B. Okay, but let me check. Let me check if we are agreeing somewhere. Let have a look at your numbers there. I think this this is some something you are, you are not you are not inputting correctly somewhere. Go go look at your A and then your B again. There is a number which you are not inputting correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, if yeah, okay, I won't say this, but otherwise it will confuse people. Okay. Tembisa was late, but now she's uh, well ahead. I only have, how many people have responded so far? Okay, well, only two, that's not good. Two people is not good at all. Two people, one is done ABC. One is done with A and B. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are stuck, put in the chat. It's an annual bond, so it should be easier. Okay, Someone is already doing D and trying to show off. We are going to ban them. I can see Mashatse posted. Okay, I'll do A with you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll do A with you. Say A. Okay, I'll give, give you the concept. So, pause. You tell me, I can do whatever you want. Whatever you want, you can pause, you can relax, you can go and get some, don't, don't do whiskey, some coffee. <laughs> okay, and yeah, everyone else, you can pause. So, your calculator out, your calculator, your financial calculator is in front of you. 10% annual bond selling at a par value of a thousand. 10% of a thousand is 100. So PMT 100. Ladies and gentlemen, go and put that PMT as 100. N 12, put that 12 in there. FV, ladies and gentlemen, go and put 1000. And then I don't know whatever calculator you have, you have to now find the price. Then just say PV. What number do you get? That's the thing we are looking for. The, yeah. Then, okay, sorry, sorry. I will forgot the I. I is eight. Then say PV. PV. What answer do you get? Letabo. Are you still stuck? No, no, I'm not. Thank you. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
PMT 100 N12 I8 FV 1000. What answer do you get? Maslate, <laughs> your number is too big. Way ma. <laughs> 7,000 is way too big. Way too big. PMT 100 N12 FV 1000 A8. PV, what is PV? That, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to just get, because how can we do all the other clever things in bonds if we can't do that? Okay, now I now we are talking now, Matlats. You are getting one to one one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everyone, let's let's do let's do now. Let's do everyone. Okay, let's do this one. D, ladies and gentlemen, let's do D together. Ladies and gentlemen, together. Let unless if it's who is who is supposed to. There's one person who can just ignore us. It can be some whatever you are doing. I don't know. You can go whistle or play something interesting. But I didn't see. Okay, Tim, so you done everything. Okay, but everyone else were doing D. So in your calculator, PMT put a hundred. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in the calculator, PMT hundred because it's ten percent of a thousand. Twelve is your end still. FV is a thousand, ladies and gentlemen. Your I is fourteen. PV, what do you get? D. D, ladies and gentlemen, D. What are you getting? PMT 100 FV 1000 N 12 I 14. Grab the present value. What do you get? Let's put together. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, D. I'm expecting everyone to post something. Refill where I can't see your name there. What's happening? Stanley. Did you post anything? Stanley, I don't see your name there. What's happening? Oh, you're just ignoring me to spite me. I'm so spited. <laughs> Helen Maseko, your name I can't see. I gave you all the factors. What else do you want? Put your, put your answer in the chat. D, what is D? Ladies and gentlemen, um, someone says, let's, let's move. Okay. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen, because I wanted to teach you a, a, a more complicated concept than showing you how to do it. Okay, so I will, I will use, someone said last time, don't, don't use Excel, but Excel is the easiest because the other one needs too much technology to get it working. Too much technology to just get my my iPad showing on the screen there. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. We are moving slower than I expected, ladies and gentlemen, but it's fine. It might be worthwhile to at least gather something, okay? I'm assuming you, you are seeing my thing there. Assuming there are some older people in our class, so we zoom so that we can see nicely. So, we are told here that it's a 10 percent coupon so we are going to say equals less this and gentlemen so we are doing pmt is a 10 percent coupon so we are going to say 10 percent times 1000 equals to 100. fv is already given at a thousand if we n is already given, n is given at 12. I, if we are doing d, i is given at 14. So if we say what is present value, pv is the number we are looking for. I don't like to use Excel, but that's the two is available to me. So if I'm using Excel, unfortunately I have to use Excel. Okay, so you can see. My thing. So, so the rate there is our I. But in Excel, we have to divide. I don't know. It's fine. 
we, yeah, we have to, to, to divide it by what? By 10, by 100, divided by 100 to make it a percent. N by the period, FV is already there. PMT, we already there. I don't know where it's finding the pounds, but we don't like pounds. So you can see there for hmm, something went wrong. What did we use? 14. Is this our I? Something went something, 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 something went wrong somewhere. Okay. But it's, it, PV should be about is that number. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any questions? Any questions about finding the value of a bond? Going once, going twice, all gone. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's do the next thing I wanted to talk about. So we will find that, okay, if we map it on a, on a graph, we will find that if yield to maturity is eight and our coupon is 10, our bond value is 1134. If you look at your answers, you see that that's what, what happened here. If eight, you get 8%, 8 yield to maturity, your bond value is 1134. At 10% and 10%, 10% coupon, 10% yield to maturity, our bond value is 1,000. So our bond value is equals to the FV or the maturity value. At 12% yield to maturity, you will see that your bond value is 887. So as, as the yield to maturity increases, if you look here, as the yield to maturity increases, the value of the bond reduces. So we say there is an inverse relationship between the value of the bond and the yield to maturity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you express an inverse relationship. So when one is high, the other one is low. So when our yield to maturity is 16, the value is 700, somewhere, somewhere about 700 something. If my yield to maturity is eight, the value is higher. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think you are due to be asked a question. You are due, I don't know whether you are due or overdue. Two questions all at once, no calculations this time. Two questions at once, two questions at once. And you, so you answer the first question, it, it pops up, you answer the first question. If the interest rate increases, the price of the bond will, blah, 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 you choose. So if interest rates increase the var, the price of the bond will, then you choose. So from my side, I'll choose. It will remain the same. It will increase. It will reduce. So you make a choice. If increases the price of the bond will, I don't know. Then you go to the next question. When the coupon rate is the same as the yield to maturity, <laughs> interesting. Then you say submit. Submit, then it says thank you. Okay, if you submit, it should say thank you. Then you can also say you are welcome. It's allowed. You can thank the technology. Tembisa is disconnected. <laughs> Reconnect, rejoin. Uh, please rejoin. Let me say, please rejoin. Because now she can't hear me. Please rejoin Tembisa. Okay, Letabo, you said C, then you go search, you say number two, then you put your answer again. The Gladys C, Tembisa C, and if it means I'm assuming you can't answer on the on the on the poll. Two B, Tembisa says, okay, two. So Tembisa, I'm assuming you're back. So we can say one A, two B, one B, two C, whatever. 1A to B. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, if interest rates increase, because we said it's an inverse relationship. So if it increases, 
the price of the bond will reduce because of the inverse relationship. So then we say when the coupon rate is the same as the yield to maturity, therefore the value of the bond is the same. That's what we saw here. If we go one step back here, yeah, that's what we saw. Power value bond, which means because the yield to maturity was the same as the coupon. Important. So this is the inverse relationship. It's just another way. So then we say when interest rates rise, the price of the bond falls. When interest rates fall, the price of the bond rises. Questions. I am open for questions. We are open for questions. Okay. We are open for questions for a few seconds. First second going once. Second second going twice. Going, 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 gone. Ladies and gentlemen, same concept. We are continuing on the same concept, same idea. Okay, but now we are looking for something different, which is called yield to maturity. Ladies and gentlemen, we are trying to express it in a number line. On it, do you have a question? Charlene, you can go and mute She doesn't have a question. Calculate the yield to maturity. Okay. Okay, let's mute. Uh, let's nicely mute. Otherwise, uh, no one will, will be disturbed by some nice music in the background. Calculate the yield to maturity of SA Brewery's bonds whose face value is 1,000. The current value is 840. It matures in 10. The coupon is 15. So now we are trying to calculate the yield to maturity. We are trying to find I. Okay, so um, I'm going too fast for myself, too fast for my liking. So let's express this in a number line. So we are told, what is the, so, okay, let's start. Calculate the yield to maturity. So that's what you are, you, are you finding yield to maturity? We are finding I. Face value is 1,000, this one. So you can see where it is, 1,000. And the coupon is given is 15%. So 15% of a thousand is 150. So we are so 150, 150. So that the coupon is 150. Price is given here 840. So to find yield to maturity, instead of finding P, V, ladies and gentlemen, now we are finding I because we have all the factors. But what we don't have is the I. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, so that's so, so we are saying. In your okay, now together, ladies and gentlemen, because I want you to do uh, this, you do to by yourself together. Take out your financial calculator, put it in front of you. Let's do this this example together, so that when you do your one in red, you at least you know what we are doing. So in your calculator, PV, go and put minus eight forty. It's minus 840 because that's the money you're paying out. So minus, it's out of your pocket. I do, oh, the gray, where is the gray block? Okay. I can't see no gray block. Tembisa, where is the gray block? There's a ghost here on your laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Tembisa has a ghost because you're doing, we've been too, doing too well the last time. So there's a ghost on your laptop. We send a ghost there. Okay, let's go okay, back to be serious. Okay. <laughs> PV, ladies and gentlemen, minus 840. Put minus 840 in your calculator for PV. PMT, we are already told coupon is 150. So it's 150, not minus 150. 150 is PMT. FV is 1000. Not minus, it's 1,000. So we have put all the factors. So you end, okay, so, so N, 10, for 10 years. So PV minus 840, because we are told the current value is 840. PMT, where am I? Does anyone see a thing on my, on, on their screen? Charlene, do you see a box, any box anyway? No, there's no gray box. Okay. Maybe they should just go out and come back in. I don't know. But there's yeah. no gray box. And well, maybe there's a ghost on the machine. What can we do? There's, we can't exercise it. 
<laughs> Seriously, ladies and gentlemen, PV minus 840, that's the price we are given there. N is 10 because we are told it's a it, it matures in 10 years. Um, PMT is 150 because it's 15% of a thousand. Then we say, then we say, go and find me an, a y, an I, which gives you 18.6 for a 18. Ladies and gentlemen, your question is in red. Unless if you have a, unless if you have a question, if you have a question, then post it in there. Post in the chat if you have a question. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, post in the chat. While you are doing that, why? I should say while you are doing that. Let me go get someone to. To let me. To, why, okay, when I come back, Itembisa can't see. There's a question the the red one. Can't you see the red part there, Itembisa? Oh, today your technology is just letting you down. The bottom part of the of the slide. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, while we are doing that, let me go because now I'm going to see load shedding in the next uh, 10 minutes. But what I'll do now, I'll go to get someone to say when it starts, then we so that we can stay online. I'll get someone to check my backup. My backup, my okay, what do you call it? That thing which which goes on the internet. I don't know, whatever you call it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still here. Some are saying, why are you still here when you're supposed to be sorting out your internet? That would be a good worry. I only have two answers, and while I was away, I lost. Uh, Charlene got lost. Hopefully, she will come back. How can we continue without a leader? Tembisa. Tembisa, you can talk. I'm back. I'm back, but uh, Timisa, you are talking to yourself. I can't even hear anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm back, but the chat box is oh, the chat box. Ah, uh, they. I don't know. I, I don't know what you are seeing. Oh wait, wait, wait. My. What 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 are you seeing there, Tempisa? I'm seeing the gray block that is stuck on the question, so it's hiding the question. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, Never mind. I'll I'll be a spectator. I did. That's that would be a terrible thing because we still have for a long time to be spectating. My question is, what do I want to ask you? What is what does the gray book say? Nothing. No, no, no. 
No, it's just showing like the options of the the video, the recording thing, but it's not moving. I mean, I've been seeing the questions before. I don't know why it's just stuck here. If you come out and come back in, did you when you went back out and come back in, came back in, what happened? Ladies and gentlemen, okay, we we look at them. These log out and we'll come back in. I think probably to go away, probably. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you know, says he click on the side, on the say Nomfundo says click on the side, Tim. These are on the black part of the of the right. Tembisa? Uh, hi, yes. Nomfundo says click, the, click on the black side of the right. I don't know what that is. <laughs> black side of the right. Okay, let's let's move, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move, let's move. Okay, I, okay, I saw only I'm two sorry, people. I don't want to keep you. Please continue. Okay, I'll, I'll move it. Okay. And, so uh, our two people who answered got the answer correctly. Okay, so what is the huge maturity for standard bank? So we are saying the FV is a thousand, which is given there. Our PV is 900. It matures our N is five. Our PMT is 80. All those things are, why eight is 8% 8 of a thousand, which is 80. So if you say go find the I, it gives you 10.6842. 10 10.6842. 10 10.6842. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen, before we move? Because we are going to build on this concept and do what we call calling a board. Any questions? Because I only saw two answers. What's happening to everyone else? Are you fine? Are you happy? What's happening? There's something wrong here. Which <laughs> Excuse me. Something wrong there, which I need to fix. Which uh, something wrong I need to fix. And everyone is just quiet. Everyone is just quiet. I don't know what's happening today. You don't, you are not putting your answers in the chat there. You are, but you are not saying anything. You are not complaining about anything. You are just relaxing. That's not good. Any questions? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll explain. Uh, let let we'll, we'll go to something called calling a bond. When do calling a bond, and then I would uh, connect to another network. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, calling a bond is a, is an interesting thing which happens. So a bond can and I have an agreement where the issuer says. So we remember, we said a bond is in. We does that we remember this is we already know that so we are saying you are going to invest and hold it to maturity in exchange you are going to get these coupons but in some cases the issuer of the bond says i want to be able to call the bond i want to be able to pay you back your money when i can but they can say, I want to pay back your money in year number three. That's called calling a bond. So it means they are shortening. Yeah, you, instead of you investing for the entire period, they are going to give back your money here yeah, so that they won't have to pay you all these other coupons. Or a similar concept, there is called putting a bond. When you're saying putting a bond, Okay, guys, load shading. I'm going to have load shading in the next five minutes, but I'm I'm, I'm making it. I made a different plan. Okay, putting a bond, the investor, the, the issuer says you can decide to convert to get your money back or convert the bond into shares. So this calling gives the right to the issuer to pay back to pay you back before maturity. That's calling a bond. Putting a bond, I'm not going to belabor that point. So we are saying, okay, I'm hoping we are not going to get into load shading once I'm explaining this. Calculate the yield to call. It's a similar concept, yield to call of SA breweries whose face value is 1,000, the current value is 840, matures in 10 years, coupon is 15%, callable in three years at 1,150. 
So we yield to call instead of yield to maturity where we are getting up to the to the end of the period. Yield to call, we are saying what is the yield to call up to the call period? So we are told that the yield to call face value is the 1000. So our face value, our face value, our face, okay, what is not important. The current value is 840, so minus 840. PMT is 150. So remember, PMT 150. But our FV callable in three years is 1150. Our FV is there for 1150. So it's minus 840, 150, 1150. N is three. Then you say, go give me an I, it will give you that number. Ah, why did it go to the name? Oh, because I know why he's doing that. I know why he's doing that. I need to fix that. I know why he's doing that. Any questions before I say your question is in the bottom one? Any questions, ladies and gentlemen, before I say your question is the next one? Any questions? Your question is the next one, therefore. Yes. Yes. You can add, yeah. Uh, Go ahead. Regarding the, the, because I saw you put uh, two words there, yield to call and put. So the, the, the put one will explain later. Oh, the putting one is, is the, the other way around. You have a right to, to get, to, to say, I want to bring my money. That's oh, putting it. Okay. Bond. Okay. So it's so just a bond hold. I can say, okay, I'm tired of it. I'll give you, I, I want to bake my money. So instead of the issue, I'd be saying, yeah, I'll pay you big, you go and say, I want to bake my money as a hold. Oh, okay. No, noted. Then put it's up to you to decide. As to Today, the yes. They're inputting, okay. yes. Call is the issue. I would say, okay, no, but I'll pay you big because now I don't want to. Okay. Noted. So you were listening. <laughs> Your question, ladies and gentlemen, your question is that one. Your question, your question, ladies and gentlemen, is that one. If you have a question, put it in the chat. Jen, Bisa, are you still struggling? Yes, Dr. John, because I cannot see the question. So Okay, let, let me do this. Um, now I have load shedding, so I probably, hopefully this will save your problems because I'm going to share a different screen. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Did it change anything there, Tabisa? No, nothing's changed. I am sure the problem is on my side. So, yeah, and oh, yeah. I see that this is the question I was stuck on, but now I see what where, what's going on. Okay. Yeah. Now I, my technology, now I have to be more careful with my technology. The recording, I would, I would send, I, I, I would go after, this, after this lesson, what will happen is I will need to rush somewhere. So I only come back maybe after 12. That's when I will download, download the recording and then I will share the recording today. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this recording is always shared. But do your question there, ladies and gentlemen. I, I had three screens, but now I'm down to two because of, because of load shedding. So your question is this one at the bottom, which says, calculate the yield to call of 10% quarterly paying bond with a power value of 1,000. The bond matures in 25 years as the market value of that and yield to maturity of that. It is callable by the issuer in 10 years at a call price of 1130. What is your yield to call? 
now my abilities are limited because I am down to I'm down to two screens and uh, three screens. But I can increase my I can improve my life by getting an third screen, I think. So let me try. <laughs> while it's working hard, while it's the business is stuck, stuck and unhappy. <laughs> I'm trying to improve my life. Ladies and gentlemen, put your you to call there in the chat. Or if you have a question, put in the chat. I'm watching the chat. And interestingly enough, I lost lots of people. Did the people get so so stuck that they left? Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a question, if you have a question, ask it. Or if you are on track, you just finish what you are doing. Okay, let's see. The co price day. Okay, I'm pointing there. They, 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 it's given there. Tell me, say, yeah, it is. One three four zero. If you have a question, ask it, ladies and gentlemen. Question, if you have a question, ask, 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 ask. If you are stuck, you ask, ask, ask. Hey, is it asking me? I'm trying to get my to my third screen. That's all. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why I'm complaining about it because it's now saying log in, log into a place which I don't want to log in. Okay. If you have a question, ladies and gentlemen, ask or post your you to call. Okay, I'll give you one minute. When you see ten zero eight, you are going to I'm going to show you the answer. Mr. Matsuma, are there? Yes, I'm still there, Dr. Nyamunda. <laughs> Is there anything we can do to make it easier for, for the students?
course, looks like we are we are stuck somewhere. Okay, sorry. Uh, I was I was on the phone, Doctor Yamunda. Can you uh? Okay, I, I, I was saying, yeah. is there anything we can, anything else we can do to make it easier for the students? Because it looks like we are on this question. On this question, yeah. Is there any any other explanation which can make it easier? Okay, but now we are getting some answers. Looks like are they are they trying it? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Mashlatse, yes. Yes, uh, PMT, I think I might be struggling. I'm not sure if I might be on the right track. Uh, it's a 10% quarterly paying bond with a value of 1,000. So it's 10% of 1,000 divided by what? If it's quarterly paying. Divided by four. Is it uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, frequencies that you have to talk on. That there's any unknown, which is coming to the terms twice in a year. And then there's also the quarter, which is coming to the terms four times in a year. And also there's monthly, which happens on the monthly, monthly payments. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, okay, before I show you, I don't know if there should be, okay, I should just show you the answer. Show you the answer then. Okay, so calculate the yield to call 10% quarterly thing, bond with the power value of a thousand. So our PMT, is 10 percent of a thousand which is 100 because it's quarterly paying divided by 4 25 yeah it is our fv because we are calculating to call our fv is is going to be called in year 10 at 1340 our pv okay i can see where the problem was our PV, okay, though I know, so PV is given actually. Ah, 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 ah. Where, where are we there? PV is actually given here. Yeah. PV is given 10, 0, 0, so you say minus 10, 10, 0, 9, 9.1. Our FV 13, 13.40, which is there. If you then you say I, then it gives you 10.37. It, so it gives you 2.593, 1 times 4, which gives you that. Where were you stuck, ladies and gentlemen? At PV. Uh, oh, PV. Yes, yeah, so I thought PV was 10, 1000 instead of uh, 1099. Yes. So, yeah, I didn't pay much attention. You didn't see it. I saw <laughs> it, but I didn't pay much attention. <laughs> it can be the one. Oh, you just used the 1000. Yes. Okay. Let's see where else, where else, Don Fundo, where were you stuck? I, I've got the PMT wrong because instead of dividing, I multiplied. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see, let's ask you. Letabo? Um, sir, I wasn't sure about um, the N. Um, was More that correct to say, because here it says, yeah, it says it's collaborable by the issuer in 10 years. So I multiply 10 by 4 because it's a quarterly paying bond. Which was that correct in saying that? That's correct. Okay, and then can you please explain why you then multiply the final answer by 4? Because I'm because not sure it, why. Uh, it, it gives you this, this is for the period, which is for the quarter. Yes. So we are trying to annualize it. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so that's why I went wrong there. But uh, did you get this 2.5931? I got 2.593, yes. Ah, perfect. But I didn't so multiply it by four. Ah, yeah, so you were there. So you, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you were there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, even if we are still hard pressed for time, I have to, to share something. What can uh, Now my technology is, is letting, because I'm using one screen. So I need to do this and then say share with sound. Okay, I have, I have to share this thing. Now, now I de definitely have to share this. <laughs> I was doubting, but I think I need to share this one. 
I'm going to spend these three minutes. This is a video, it's not uh, about bonds, but it's a video which I think is worthwhile to listen to. It's between passion and obsession. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. Oh, you found your passion? Awesome. Follow your passion. Live with passion. Be passionate. Chase your passions. Everything, like passion, 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 passion. Passion's good. Like the world's gonna be like, yay, passion. When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you gonna be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always gotta get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. Because somebody in your life should say, man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always study it because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. All the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. So listen to me. There are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. If you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. We do not retreat. We do not give up. We do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff's not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness. They feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated. And there's another level you get to when you go all in. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. And I dare you under every single circumstance, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream because that's where true success is. That's where true success is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's continue. So I think we can talk about duration. That's the last thing we are going to talk about today because I'm looking at the time and duration. I think we are good to talk about duration. Okay, so, so we are saying when we talk of, I'm going to tell, talk about theory for maybe two minutes, theory of duration. We are saying when we look at a bond, there are critical risks which affect a bond. Remember we said there is an inverse relationship Tim, this again, you hear me because now I can't see my the thing which says I'm on. Tim, this maybe Tim, is not even there yet. Oh, Mr. Basuma, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear. Thank you. Okay, cool. So we can continue. Well, I was afraid I was talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> So there are critical risks affecting your bond, which is interest rate risk. Remember, we said there's an investor relationship between a bond and interest rates. We are saying when interest rates are increasing, the value of the bond is falling. So the thing called duration is tries to say how sensitive is the bond to interest rate changes. So to manage your value of the bond, you need to manage duration. 
Okay. So we are saying when we talk of duration, so for every 1% change in interest rates, the bond price will also change by more or less 1%. So if there's a one percent increase in interest rates, the change in so there's a, also a corresponding one percent fall in in duration. So it is illustrated. Here. Okay, let's let's look for the point. There. So it's illustrated here. We are saying if there is a one percent increase in interest rates, if the bond matures duration not matures the bond duration is two years. There is a corresponding two year Two percent fall, one percent increase. If it matures in two years, minus two percent fall in in the price. If it matures in four years, minus four percent. If it matures in six years, minus six percent. So we are saying the higher the duration, the greater the interest rate risk. That's theory. I'm out of theory. Okay, now your question, which you're supposed to post in the chat. Easy question. If interest rates or yield maturity reduces by two percent, what is expect? What is the expected impact on bonds with two years of duration? Post in the chat. Quickly, 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 quickly. We are looking at about ten percent. Ten percent. We are looking about eleven minutes to go. If interest rates reduces by two percent, what is the expected impact on bonds with two years of duration? Is it reduces or increases? And is it 2% or this did no change? How many people do we have? We still have a number. We have about 10 people. Make your choice. Let's say A, B, C, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Make your choice, make your choice, make your choice. A, B, C, D. Ladies and gentlemen, if you said increases by 4%, you are 100% because the interest rate reduced. Remember that investor relationship. And now we are saying it's two times two, 4%. Okay. Now, there is a formula for calculating duration. There's a formula. Yeah, you let up, you saw that you, you, you had gone to be the same direction. There's a formula for calculating duration, which is, okay, let's just go to the question. So a question can, can come which looks like this. An 8% coupon semi-annual five-year bond with a face value of 1,000 with yield of 12%. Current price is 852.8. And suppose the yield is changed by 100 basis points. What is the duration? All we will need to do is to, to plug all these numbers into this formula. But there's one thing which, before we do, do the calculation, one thing which I need to call to your attention. One new thing, 100 basis points is the same as 1%. 1%, ladies and gentlemen, is the same as 0.01. So when you say, suppose the yield is changed by 100 basis points, it's the same as say, suppose the yield is changed by 1%. Okay. Now, the easy way, this is really not complicated. It's just confusing when you are starting it, but it's really not complicated because once you have a table like this, this table is just going to put the values we already, we already, we already calculating before. We already know how to calculate into a table so that it's easy to work with. So we have your table where we say, it's simple with NIPMTP. These are factors we already know. V minus is this thing in our formula. V minus. V plus is this thing. V is V naught. V naught. V so we are saying V is the value of the bond if yield reduces. V plus is the value of the bond if yield increases. So in this question, we are saying, what is the value of the bond if yield increases by 1%? Okay. To put everything in the table, we are saying, and in this question, it's a semi-annual five-year bond. So our N in this case, case is 10. 
five times two. Remember that same annual story which I was talking about? With a face value of a thousand. So our FV becomes thousand here. Remember, we are saying V naught before the change. With a yield of 12%, but it's because it's a semi annual, the yield becomes six here. Our PMT, um, what is the coupon? 8%, 1,000 bond. So PMT, we already did that. 8% is 80 because it's the same annual. 80 divided by 2 is 40. In this case, we are given the price. So we are told that the current price is that. Now the question is, what is the price if yield moves up by 1%? So we are told it's a 12%. So if yield changes from 12% to 13%, same table, our periods end doesn't change, it becomes 10. Our coupon doesn't change, it remains 40 because it's the same bond. Our FV doesn't change because it's already given here. What we don't have is this yield to maturity first. So yield to maturity, we're told, if yield to maturity changes by 100 basis points, we know that it has changed by 1% which says yield is now 13%. But because it's a semi-annual bond, divide by 2, 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. So if in your financial calculator you put 10, I 6.5, coupon 40, maturity 1,006, give me the present value, it will give you 820.28. What is the price if yield reduces by 100 basis points, we know that N is the same PMT because it's the same bond. So the only thing which has changed is this line, yield to maturity. But now we know that 12% minus 1%, 100 basis points. 12 minus 1 is 11%. Divide by 2, 5.5. So our I is 5.5. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you say 6 minus 1 is 5, it's wrong. Yield to maturity changed by 100 basis points, so you change the 12 minus that and then divide by 2, 5.5. If you put N10, 40 PMT, da, da, you will get 886.94. If you are here, you can make a dance, a small dance, because we have all the factors you need to calculate your duration. Because now we can say V minus 886. You can see? There it is. V plus 820. Because we are just taking from your table. Divided by 2 V naught. V naught 852. 2 V naught 2 times 852.8. Times 100 basis points. 100 basis points goes to 0 0.001. If you solve this, this, this this formula it gives you 7.8162. Questions, ladies and gentlemen. Do you have a question? Una umbuzo. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Sure. I didn't understand the yield to maturity part as in the 5.5% okay. and 6.5%. So you did that, okay, so yeah, that's a good question. So yield to maturity, you can see the yield to maturity is the given yes, 12%. Talk to me, talk to me. Yes, Matt, yes, yes. yes yeah, if you, so you, can you see that when they, to find the value of the bond without any change, you have, it's become 6% here. Yes. And do you know why is it 6% here? Because uh, you, it's semi-annually. Okay, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, so if you, you so you are very close to the answer. So if yield increases because we are told the yield is changed by hundred basis points, that's why why we are saying it's increasing by one percent. So if yield to maturity changes by hundred, it means the yield to maturity is increased by one percent. Mm -hmm. So the twelve goes is increased to thirteen percent. Mm -hmm. Divide by two. That's why we have six point five year. Oh, okay, because I uh, thought it was six changed by one, which is six plus one. Oh, okay, so, yeah, so you were yeah. just saying six minus one is five, six yes. plus one it should be seven. Yes, yes, yes. No, six is the same annual. The yield maturity is 12. Okay, okay. Any other question, ladies and gentlemen? Helen? Yes, sir. 
Do you hear the question? Ele Maseko. The, the, the advantage of coming for the lecture is you can actually ask a question. Any other question? If you don't have a question, you can start working on this thing at the bottom. And what you can do for yourself is just quickly copy the question or just take a picture of the question because we are going to get to time up out before we see the answer. Anyone with a question of how this is done or who is a little bit confused, where my explanation is unclear, you can ask a question. I'm open for questions, ladies and gentlemen. The shop is open for questions. So I'm assuming you are working on this one. This is actually from a past exam question. A 15%, 10% same annual bond, same annual still, 1,000 is priced at that. The yield is changed by 150 basis points. You know what that is. Calculate the effective duration of the bond. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. The, so the, the best way will be to do it. Pardon me, pardon me. Marshall said, what happened? Why do why you just disappeared? Oh. I don't know what happened to him. Tembisa? Yes, sir. Are you, are you away together there? We are together. I'm almost there. Ah, okay, perfect. Stanley? Stanley? Oh, Stanley doesn't want to talk to me. I don't know what I said. Stanley. Stanley is not going to unmute himself. Rafilwe. I'm here, Doctor. Okay, are uh, we together? Is there anything which is unclear? Uh, now it's the PMT. <laughs> it's unclear. Oh, the PMT. Okay, yeah. so we, should I use the example or the, the question? The question, please. The question. So we are saying 10% per, 10 semi annual bond with a power value of 1,000. So it's 10% of 1,000 is what? 100. 100, yes. But it's a semi annual bond, so therefore the, the, the PMT is what? Semi annual, 100, semi annual? 50. 50, yeah, 50. Yes. 50. Okay. All right. Okay. No, thank Nomfundo. you. Nomfundo. Nomfundo Gule. Nomfundo. Not gonna unmute. Letamo. I'm happy to have attempting the question. Okay. Helen Masego. Hi, Doctor. I just want to find out with regards to that example. Um, mm -hmm. N, which is the um, uh, number of periods, mm -hmm. where does the 10 come from, if I may ask? Or, yes. do, or do we multiply five times two? Yes, because they are, it's a semi-annual bond, oh. so it means it pays twice a year. So for five years, it would pay 10 times. Okay, Maybe. so which means yeah. Yeah. so which means for with regards to the question it's gonna be 30. Am I correct? Or I'm wrong? Yeah, 100 percent there. Oh thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Gladys. Yes, I'm busy with the question as well. Yeah, happy. Okay, Bongega. Um yes, sir. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. No, sir, I'm fine. Thank you. You're fine. Okay, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 1032. 
I so I'll talk. Okay, let me stop recording. Then I'll tell you. I'll talk about the admin stories.